But okay, so but you get the girl, so you know, and they come back. These are these are laymen, lay girls. Yeah. Who you bring up here? So you fuck. Uh, have you ever been married though? No, no, I, I I'm smarter than that. <laughs> but you've had long term relations, Lay Layla Rivera. Yeah, Layla. She was, you know, she was a long, long time Max girl. And before that, Catalina. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you remember her. Before yeah. that, Chloe Adams and Barbie Angel. You ever get close to marriage? Mm, I, I thought about it, but I, you know, I sat down and the, the and hit yourself it passed. It passed, yeah. Like like a kidney stone. <laughs> Went right out, a little screaming. The, the urge passed, you know, it's like girls, like, a girl told me, some, uh, said something the other day while she was on camera. She says, you know, sometimes I get the urge to clean the house, but I just sit down for a couple minutes because, because and it urge passes. <laughs> So you never up in the, the mansion up, I mean, you probably, this place, I mean, they talk about pussy palaces. This is, this is it. Yep. You can get a girl, it's like saying you want to come to my 100 foot yacht. I mean, this is several floors. You've got a pool room, a jacuzzi, beautiful pool. There's views of the city. I mean, it's just a slam dunk, isn't it? Well, it, 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 nothing's a slam dunk with stutter. girls. They, yeah. they they get complicated, you know. So I, as a general rule, I just like to work with the girls that have already been pre-screened and pre-programmed. When you go to the guy's house, you bring your suitcase and you're gonna do a, gotcha. a boy girl anal scene. Are these girls that you're, you hire That's though? Easy, that way there's are no they, are sitting, they agency girls? sitting around, you know, with a civilian. <laughs> Uh, you know, I tell got, me more about your. Oh uh, Christ! You know, it, that's just to me. I'm in a, I'm in a hurry. See, I, I've only got you know, how many days left in my life? Who knows? So I want to make everyone count, and I don't want to have to work on a girl, over and over again, and convince her it's okay. And oh my, what my parents gonna think about this? And blah blah blah. And I'm just looking at my watch and say, okay, nice to see you, baby. <laughs> Now, do you have girls lining up for the Max Hardcore program? I mean, is no. it easy to get them, or is it a little challenging? No, it, it's challenging because m most of the, the, like, I don't like to shoot girls that have done it all, right, and done it many, many, many times. Like, a, a typical example would be, like, somebody like Amy Brooke. She's a beautiful girl, but she's done it all, and she's done it too many times. Uh, Riley Reed, too many times, done it all, who cares? So the perfect Max girl is the little pixie, and most of them are pretty big. And she hasn't done it all. She's not out there on 500 videos. You know, she's just getting her career. Now, generally speaking, these girls are, tend to be, um, you know, more reserved in what they're willing to do. You know, they don't know about, you know, getting throat fucked into submission, you know, until they're, you know, they can't think straight anymore. So um, you, just, you destroy, I mean, in a way, the destruction is, in a way, they haven't even done like a boy-girl, and you've got them doing stuff that's, and that's part of it. It's destroying the innocence and capturing it on camera. Is yeah, that kind of it. Well, the best scenes are is when they start out real innocent, and then they get really in the program. The Max right? Hardcore program. Yeah, then they then they really like. I mean, those are the best scenes. Like those are the positive ones. Okay, then there's you got like they say the natural born victims who are crying and, and it just looks horrible and I have to stop the scene and you know reel them in and calm it down a little bit and say okay you're gonna look like you're gonna enjoy yourself like and get back into the groove uh, but they naturally go that way <clears throat> so it's kind of like mutual self-destruction with these girls they are all down with the program. In fact, they are so down with the program, they like it so much that they're gonna bring over their girlfriends so they can do it too. You do two girls sometimes? Yeah, yeah, especially when I've got a ringer like uh, like Layla or Catalina or Barbie Angel because they're thoroughly vetted on the program. Mm -hmm. My favorite type of girl, uh, now that just occurred to me, was Courtney Simpson, okay? she. When I, I did her, I shot her first two scenes, one with Layla, one without, and she was totally down. She loved being the innocent little girl. She had her own little website that she never did anything on. We're looking around <laughs> it, you know, and she's. And then I tell her we're going to make a movie, and she's all excited. And she was beautiful um, and small. She like weighed 85 pounds, 
and uh, under five feet, and she took it up the ass, she, down the throat. I mean, I'm just destroying this girl, drinking piss, everything with her. And then uh, we shot two scenes in the course of the first two weeks, and then people started talking to her. I said, oh, you, what, you work for Max Hardcore? What did he, what did he do to you? Oh, what the hell? Oh, man, that's going to ruin your career. <laughs> oh, yeah. She went on to have a great career. She always denied that she did anal, always denied that she drank piss. Whatever. She never asked me to take the video down, though. That's to her credit. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, that's my ideal but it's mm -hmm. so it's tricky it's difficult it takes you got to go through a lot of numbers you know I'm dealing mm -hmm. with uh, a couple agencies and I want this girl but she don't do it and I said well let's negotiate mm -hmm. what's that <laughs> what's no we negotiate so that you're gonna do anal right why don't do anal okay let's start over here yeah I would say <laughs> it, it, it inevitably it rarely works but sometimes it does People talk, well, don't do anal when you first start. Don't mm -hmm. do the heavy shit, because then you're going to get burned the out. Right. Then you're going to get burned out fast. Well, that didn't, that rule didn't exactly apply to Bonnie Rotten, now, did it? Because she went in both barrels blazing, and, you know, doing anal gangbangs and <laughs> self-puking herself and uh, all this crazy stuff. And, and good for, oh, and she calls it squirting when she's actually just pissing. Um, <laughs> And, and all this crazy stuff, and doing it, now she's the mean one, the mean bitch to the other girls, too, right? So, anyway. Well, I, I mean, that's, you know, the business I want the a new lot. girl. See, Bonnie Rotten was never even a, a max hardcore girl, per se. I mean, I, no, no, I, she's but not. I think I figured, okay, she's not gonna do anything out here. There's nobody, no tattooed freak <laughs> was gonna, is gonna make it in the porn business. And then she becomes the biggest thing around, you know, for a while. I think what you know, we, we have a similar thing in that the Girls and Corpses magazine. Uh, if I, Bonnie was an exception because she had tattoos. Because if you take a tattoo goth girl with all this stuff and put it with a corpse, they're like, there's yeah. no shock value. Right. 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 That's exactly so I my want the point. Girl, I want yes. the girl, the cheerleader. To me, the, the cheerleader is the girl next door. Yeah. The girl in high school that was a cheerleader, the guy couldn't even get to first base with. But now she's kissing a corpse. Yes. So the same thing with you. It's like the I same, couldn't go out to principle. get a date, and she's doing this. So it's this it's, girl would never even do this with her boyfriend. Never right, even right, right. possibly thinking here she's getting asked and talking to her daddy. What do you think of your little princess now, daddy? While she's getting asked up, Gina also she's riding my ass like this, and she's. Um, Look at me, mommy. I'm getting ass fucked by a guy I just met at the mall. <laughs> oh, God. And she, at the time, she was very innocent. So, there, okay, you go fuck a whore. It's the same principle. Uh, and this is what I've believed from the beginning. If you fuck a girl who looks like a whore, acts like a whore, and, and is, you, there's no challenge to it, who cares? Where's the story? Right? Yeah. And it was not a big achievement because she's already no, been she's up already there. Ideas. But you get a you get a girl that's that's sitting close like this, and yeah, yeah, nice house, Mister. Yeah, you got nice tits, little girl, and I'm gonna make you a model. Really, you know, and there, okay, there's mm -hmm. it's it's an accomplishment when you see an innocent mm -hmm. girl. Well, it's a fantasy for guys. Yeah, I mean that's meet why at the mall. There's so much. Home schoolgirl fantasy it was because the guys were in school there was the hot girl that they would never, never get. got they couldn't get her max they didn't get the time of day max hardcore and you got were, her and then max hardcore got her I, you know i think and, that's the perfect, and destroyed her i think that's the perfect way to end this max hardcore got her she's fucking your girlfriend that won't go to second base max listen man you're awesome you're a very smart bright guy and never let people think otherwise you're a businessman you do treat people with respect. Your house is beautiful. And everyone should go and go to Max Dash. And the dash comes from the FBI. Max-Hardcore.com. Uh, this is Corpsey for Girls and Corpses Magazine, EM Re Mem Report. Max Hardcore. Stay tuned for more madness and anal gaping.